Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be looking at a possible return of the live tiles to the start menu on Windows 11. Also we're going to be looking at the new Copilot integration into the settings app and some of the improvements that the company is making for the snipping tool and the paint app as part of the Windows 11 build 26212 available in the Canary channel. Okay, let's dive into the improvements coming to Windows 11, but before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. It appears that Microsoft is looking into every way possible to get a Copilot in front of users. On Windows 11 build 26212, it's been discovered that searching in the settings app will not include a Copilot option to send a query directly to the chatbot. So after updating to the latest version of Windows 11, if you type a query that is specific to the settings app, let, let's say resolution, you will get the typical search results. But if you type something that is not entirely part of the settings app, let's say fix, you can see now that when there is not a result, we're now going to see an option to ask Copilot. And when you click that, the query will be sent to the chatbot. And as you can see, you actually have to confirm that you want to send that data. And then the chatbot is going to give you some results about that. I know this isn't new, but it's not until build 26,212 that I'm actually getting the updated version of, of Copilot that works as a normal application. You can minimize, maximize, and close like a normal application. However, if you want to use the dock version on the right, you can click this button right here and just choose the side-by-side -side option. And you're still able to resize the interface any size you want. It is interesting that I got this updated version of Copilot after the company has said that it's pausing the rollout of this and other changes to the chatbot AI. Let me know in the comments what you think about Microsoft keeping integrating Copilot into Windows 11. Not as specific to this release of Windows 11 in the Canary channel, but Microsoft has also updated the snipping tool with a few changes. So now if you go to the snipping tool and you take a screenshot, let me just grab this and let's create a new screenshot of the screen. Now, when you go to the shapes menu, we now have an option to add emojis into the screenshot. You can add it anywhere you want and you can change the size and rotate. But it appears that you only have this collection and you don't have access to the entire library of emojis available on Windows 11. Also, when using the text actions feature, the snipping tool app should now be able to recognize a QR code. But as you can see in this example, it is not actually working. However, on the Microsoft announcement, we can see that the app is able to scan the barcode and transform that into a clickable link. Finally, another change that you're going to find in, in the snipping tool is that the ruler option is no longer on the command bar. Instead, it is available through the main menu option. Another interesting option that we might see on this application is the ability to do a visual search using Bing. And let me show you this screenshot that shows that option right here. But it is unclear when we might see this option come into the application. Also, the Microsoft Paint app is updating the name for the feature to create images using AI to image creator. And that's all the changes on this application for now. If we don't count for example, that now there is a slider setting that allows you to control the size of the brush on the Paint app. Also in this update, when you sign in into your account, instead of just reading welcome as you get into the account, the greeting has been changed to welcome back and then it will just log in into the account. And there you go. Now it reads welcome back instead of just welcome.
On this update, Microsoft is also introducing some changes to the share interface, including the ability to create a QR code for links and cloud files. That's when you're using the Microsoft Edge browser. I do have to show you a screenshot of that feature, which is this one right here. And this is the button that you have to click to convert the link into a QR code. Because like if I click the share button on my installation, I still get the all interface. I still haven't received the new update for that specific change. Also, if you use Gmail and the account is connected to Windows 11, you will be able to send emails directly through the share interface in the same way that you can do with the Outlook account. Even further, the share interface will no longer close when you click outside of the interface, meaning that you will now have to click the close button to dismiss it. And that is actually something that I can show you in my installation. So if we go to the File Explorer app and then we just select the file and click the share button, we can now see that we have a close button. But if we click outside of that, the interface will stay on. Now, let's talk about the new start menu design because a big update is probably coming soon. It is important to know that this new design, it is not yet available. And while we have some details, it is not official. And what we see on the screen is part of the design, but with some changes that have been added to showcase the feature in its current state. First, the feature appears to be called companions. So it's actually defined as start menu companions. And on the first image, we can see that the start menu is getting a floating side panel, as you can see on the right side, that is able to show widgets from different apps. Also, users will be able to dock the panel on the right or on the left side. So let me just go to the other screenshot. And here we can see how the panel looks on the left. Of course, developers will have to integrate this functionality into their apps, and you will be able to configure it from the Start Settings page inside of the Personal Section section of the Settings app. And we can see some of the evidence right now inside of the Settings page, as you can see right here. In addition, users will be able to configure each widget in a way similar to how you're able to do it today from the widgets dashboard. Now, at first glance, the panel kind of reminds me a little bit of the widgets dashboard as we see today on Windows 11. And it also reminds me of the light tile feature on the start menu for Windows 10, which the company has removed from the operating system with the release of Windows 11. However, since the widgets will be displaying dynamic content from applications, it seems like Microsoft is trying to recreate the Live Tiles experience. Now, if you ask me, although Live Tiles can add some benefits on how you interact with the start menu and consume some information, the idea of a side panel for the start menu doesn't seem like the right approach because it looks like it doesn't fit into the design, but that's just me. Let me know in the comments what you think about the new design that Microsoft might be adding into the start menu for Windows 11. And that is all there is to it. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.